This is Twit. Uh, we know that Intel is going to release their Meteor Lake processors tomorrow. Dropping the um, eye. Very yeah, exciting. They've cha- you know, they've rebranded the processors, right? There's a Core Ultra, whatever. Um, this is the first time in a few to several years, I don't remember the timing, that they've released the, uh, or are releasing uh, a mobile chipset in the fall. Usually they do desktop of one gen and then mobile. Yeah, they do. Uh, this year they're just doing mobile, mobile it's now and... You know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. We, you know, we're going to learn more about that tomorrow. But obviously, we can expect MPUs, et cetera, et cetera. So this past week, uh, AMD released their equivalent version of this, um, which is the Ryzen 8040 series uh, mo- mobile CPUs, just like the uh, Meteor Lake stuff. Oddly, this kind of kills me, but most of them have MPUs, but some don't. And it's like, guys, seriously. So the two lowest end chips in this family do not have NPUs, but the rest of them do. There's a logical reason for this, Paul. Yeah, uh, cheapness. Um, no, what you, is it? you you build you build one chip, you build it one way, and then you yeah. test it. Oh, it's spinning. And oh. if the M, and if the yeah. MPU is bad, you yeah. cut it out, and you it's a chip it. that doesn't nice. have an yep. MPU. Yeah. Okay. Does so they use like a tiny little ice cream scoop to get it out of there? Mm, something kind of, like that. It's it's like that only a laser. Yeah. Basically, I'm not a guy. <laughs> those chips are the pig's foot of processors yeah. right well, yeah you you've know, eaten all the, the rest SX of the pig chips. this is what was left you get yeah, yeah. Right. every one yeah. every one of those chips other than the top one is a defect of the top one right right I, uh, so everything we works had... is the top one and it costs more and the defect stack pushes it down they cut out processors they cut out memory blocks they cut out feature sets yeah okay well <laughs> anywho um it's confusing I for consumers don't... but it because yep. you know they don't know that there's no npu in this one uh, or no, even whether they need one, I guess. I mean, based on the the skew layout and all this, I mean, these are well. Would you let me ask a the, question? Would you benefit with yep. Bing Chad or this ClipChamp uh, auto edit feature if you had an NPU, or it wouldn't use the NPU for that kind of thing? That's going to the cloud, so no, so, you wouldn't benefit. Uh, ClipChamp's in the cloud, but as is Bing. Okay, uh, but any well, on device well, stuff you would. Right. And so okay. in the, in the short given term drivers, right? Like that's always the question. Everybody's making their own MPU layouts. Right. Is yeah. there any, is there any ODBC for NPUs at this point? Like, I don't think there is. I think it's very specific. Yeah, we're going to find, right. So like um, certain workloads are going to work better on this one chipset, but not this other, but others. Yeah. Will, yeah, this, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I'm kind of waiting to see how Intel comes out of the gate here, but um I, I do think it's a mistake to ship any chipsets right now. They don't have MPUs, but mm-hmm. okay, whatever. Um, it, I'm not as familiar with AMD's chips, but we know that Intel today has UPH, whatever series mobile processors. Um, it is the lowest end of the two U series chips that don't have the MPU, which is the lowest end ones. So these might be for, um, very, you know, thin light, maybe even fanless type devices that wouldn't necessarily, uh, although they are 28 <laughs> watt So actually that kind of kills that. Yeah, that cheap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But they are the lowest end version. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I really, no, uh, look, this is a big improvement over what was the case before. Remember back sometime first half of the year, AMD released a single chip that had an MPU in it. So yeah. now they have several. <laughs> so well, now, you know, now what you're seeing is it's incorporated into die design. Yeah. And so the norm will be NPU. And if the known MPU yep. ones don't sell, then they're just going to scrap them and stop making a skew for them. Right. I mean, there's yeah. another set that were even more defective than those that they just scrapped. Okay. Yeah. I mean, sure. That makes sense. I, um, we need to wait and see on this stuff, right? Because yeah. uh, A, it's going to be what is in Windows that takes advantage of this. And then what is going to be in all these third party apps that people use? Like, where will this make the most sense? You know, is it. Well, and a, it and a lot of these models are not so big that they couldn't run on, on board. You know, it's just a question of did you yeah. get it free from a cloud company? Why right. are you supplies, prize that uses the cloud? So, right. Th- when Leo asked, w- would. Um, uh, Bing Chat or whatever Windows Copilot benefit from this. You know the answer is no today, but that's today, right? So yeah, in, in the future there will be uh, well, there are today some, but there will be uh, apps and workloads and things that run on device, and it will benefit from that. And then we're going to start to see that hybrid thing. I think this is the. It's not just an interim way to save money, which is almost I. Uh, it's almost what I said. It is literally probably the best way to do it you know, when you can run things locally when you can't or if you need to augment the results with whatever might be in the cloud or your connectivity is low or whatever, this kind of hybrid approach yeah, I mean, is going to make a lot of sense. I'd love to see a two-stage model. I've just never heard of one. For me, there's 
well, small enough that it fits on the machine or too big needs to go to the cloud. And LLMs in general are too yeah. big. Right. Well, but this will happen. This is happening. I mean, it is going to happen. Right. And so Presumably. just assume. Well, I mean, it is right. So, I mean, a simple, simple example that does not exist, <laughs> but is the Gemini stuff that Google announced last week or whenever that was. Yeah. Um, they, there's three tiers of that. The smallest one fits on the phone, the nano version. Um, today, there's only two features on a pixel that will take advantage of it. They're both on device. So everything happens on device. It's it's a, a small subset. Um, but because it is a subset of the bigger, the pro and I think ultra versions of this thing, it's conceivable mm -hmm. that, you know, when connected to the internet and, you know, if you're paying for some subscription to something, right. um, what can happen on their will and what can't, well, you know, and they'll do well, that. Well, now that, we get into the app that. comparison because Google's selling you the device. And so they're incented to have it not mm -hmm. cost them anything after that. So they'll get as much <laughs> compute on the client. <laughs> well, that's why I, that's why I said the phrase subscription uh, right. service. Uh, because yeah, and, that, yeah. and that's good, always going to be the trade and you can just sort yep. of debate uh, yep. which one is which. I mean, I've, and I've, you know, Home Assistant is now doing this with voice models, depending on the amount of compute in your host Home, home Assistant device. And yeah. so you're finding out that the low end ones, they're not very good. Yeah. You know, you're going to want the bigger Actually, ones. Actually, that's a good model. I mean, in a way, uh, though, that is a good description because you ask an assistant a question. It's not processing, processing, processing. It's, you know, going up to the cloud and saying, okay, what's the answer? Yeah. Um, there's no reason future versions of those can't do that as well. Have a little kind of tensor processor in there with their little uh, small language model, whatever. Yeah. And, and say, it. is this something I could answer from the device or do right. I have to go to the cloud yeah. anyway? So exactly. it is an interesting thought. I just yep. haven't seen it yet. I hope it happens. Okay. No, we haven't seen it yet, but they've talked. To, it's coming. This is this yeah. is a thing. This is a, that's, and, and that's why I, I started to say an interim way to save money, but not really, because honestly, I think this model makes lots of sense. Even, even when the, Price of cloud processing of AI comes down, it will still make sense just from a latency performance perspective. To and do privacy. Uh, a lot of companies yeah. won't yes. use chat oh, GPT sorry, or Leo, Bing I, chat. I, I'm a Windows guy. I don't really think about privacy. So I <laughs> never even occurred to me. Um, no, but you're right. You're absolutely right. And yep. and this is, I mean, Google's trying to do the same thing. Uh, everybody's trying to create these new small models that'll fit on a device. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting that this is a Microsoft product, not a open AI product this is from microsoft research um i guess they're doing their own <laughs> stuff right everyone is i mean yeah is. yeah so it is a race no choice about it but well but tomorrow but because when Mike, intel comes up when sorry but because microsoft you know basically owns open ai right uh well, i just Leo, assume you that know all what? the work i mean honestly there, but no. and just uh with an ear toward the cma and the ftc uh, no they don't own them i <laughs> let's be very clear 42 <laughs> percent there's, the, there's no ownership stake. It's um, everything's fine you know, until you make Uncle Satya mad. Yeah, you know what? Or you know, honestly, Sam, uh, either one. Yeah. OpenAI is a teenager who's moved out of the house. Technically, you mm -hmm. run their lives, mm -hmm. but you don't actually make mm -hmm. decisions for them, mm -hmm. and uh, you don't always like what they do. There's know? also probably a certain amount of pride, like the Microsoft research guys <laughs> saying, hey, "Hey, wait a minute, we can do this. Um, why not?" You know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I did, I was just going to say, I don't know what, I don't know how Intel's thing's going to go down tomorrow, but the one thing we're always looking for is give me examples of, you know, what, how do I, what would make my mother or some normal human being say, yeah, I need to upgrade my computer. Yeah. You know, we're still looking for that. And AI I was talking to do that. I don't think, well, I, yeah. here's the thing. I think it will, but it won't be the same thing for everybody. Instead of like one killer feature, killer app, or however you want to say that. I think it's going to be a little uh, one to some number for everybody. It's going to be little things. It's going to be a lot of little things. This will make my uh, video editing capabilities a hundred times better sure. or 10 times faster or whatever I, it might be. I think the Pixel 8 is a great example of that. The video, yeah. the, uh, the picture editing abilities on the Pixel 8. Oh, it's incredible. Because I, I, of the tensor processor. Right. Like, and, I've tried it's, to. It's very self-contained. I have uh, many times needed to do background removal in Photoshop. I've done it for many, many years. And they've had tools for many, many years. Yeah. And they have to do a bunch of edge editing work that you do manually and you, you, and you screw up and you get into the thing you try not to delete. And it takes a long time. And then I walk up to a pixel with my fumble fingers. Kind of amazing. And I can it? remove a Volkswagen from the back yeah. of the yeah. picture, even it. though it's interspersed behind people's limbs and things. And it looks great. And that's... That's the promise of AI, right? Yeah. I mean, that, that I, that's incredible. Yeah, and if you put that in, you put that kind of 
clip champ might be the thing friends yeah. like yeah. clip champ might just be the thing where look at this on a surface pc with an npu how right. quick it is and how simple it is to do that and they're like okay i want one of those yeah you're gonna have a you know a cpu a better gpu an mpu yeah on a laptop and have the ability to video is a great example because it, it hits on so many different things and uh just take the processing off of the cpu where where you can and and Battery life is going to be better. And then just what you can do with it is going to be amazing. Well, the boss got our Surface Studio laptop. Oh, too, good. No, and, good. And put the CAD program on it that does the real-time analysis of cloth behavior when it actually... And she's using the pen and grabbing a corner of a shirt on an, on an avatar oh, and wow. pulling it and showing how it pulls back to shape. Oh, or not, my goodness. May be. Wow. And it was, it was stunningly fast. Like, it just oh, it that's looks great. natural. Good. That's okay. awesome. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. And We're then gonna, she's like, now let me let me show you this different cloth. And you can see the behavior change just to the type of yeah, cloth. Yeah, yeah. See, we are living in very interesting times, I have to say. Yeah, we really are. Um, yep. Yeah. It's uh, it's funny because for a while, like the last three or four years, I felt that the industry had kind of stagnated. Yeah. Um, and in fact, the best thing they could come up with was, was, was VR and AR. And that's not really. And you could just tell this wasn't it. This yeah. wasn't going to be the thing. No, well, you know? it's very pandemic escapist, right? Yeah, right. But but yeah, but AI now we want to escape from like, that. Holy cow! And yeah, the things they're doing now, it just it's amazing. Um, yeah. And it literally, uh, you got to remember, it's it's been under a year. Well, just over a year just now a since year. Yeah. the thing that happened with OpenAI and Chat by GPT accident, or, yeah. and Microsoft internally saying, "Yep, Time let's move. do everything different." And uh, obviously, that's what defines. Yeah, you know, I mean, but that's, that's what the LLM it. side. I would also say, you know, Mid Journey was already doing its thing. Like the mm -hmm. visual manipulation had been going on for a few years, and yeah, but know, it, it, we, it's a lot of stuff we just described with clip chat and so forth is in that class. This, but this is the tree falls in the woods and no one hears it kind of a problem. Like so, in other words, like you know, the Apple came out with the GI, GUI and the Mac, and mm -hmm. it reached a certain audience, but you know. I'm not saying it's uh, innovative, but it took Microsoft to do this at scale for this to kind of reach the masses. And the end result was, you know, the internet and uh, Windows 95, and now we all need a new computer. Yeah. Um, the hope is that AI can do this again. Like I said, I don't think right now we have that thing. I can't point to anything and say, this is it, you know, no. but maybe but a year from now. It's we'll also have that hundred little differences that yeah. eventually well, it's like, and if you didn't have this, everything's hard. Part mm -hmm. of the problem, of course, is that uh, a lot of what we're doing, as you pointed out, is in the cloud. So people aren't yeah. yet seeing a need to do it locally, but those yeah. things will come. Uh, well, I, know, I mean, both, look, both. we've all sat there and waited, yeah. right? Well, it's answers some stupid question. Right. What if it could do that like faster? You know, boop, like both. I mean, that, both my iPhone and the Pixel have NPUs. Well, you know, and the, yeah. the other and the other part of this of is eventually the device. cloud lost leaders end. Right. right, like eventually, we're going to have to start playing for all this free cloud compute we've been using, and that's no, ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they, they want to get us off this as as quickly as possible. Yeah, but and they meantime, have an alternative product, and then can raise the price. It'll yeah. be easier. I, uh, yeah. you know, I'm paying twenty bucks a month for Chat GPT. Uh, I have. Mm. I, did oh. I show you the custom GPTs I wrote? I think I might have showed you those. Mm. Um, so right now, the advent of code coding challenge is going on. That's, yeah, I saw you doing that. That's a better uh, yeah. advent calendar, probably for my my brain than whiskey. I think you should do those. I think those together, <laughs> together would make some sense. There you go. It's the thirteenth. Let's I, open a door. And I think do every a time problem. you succeed at a coding challenge, you drink one of the <laughs> that's little. Maybe okay, perfect. but I've been go. using this um, common lisp because I'm writing in a common lisp. I've been using this common lisp expert I wrote um, in Chat GPT. It, it has replaced all the web searching. I used yeah. to do because I put in all of the, uh, all of the, you know, the books. Cause yeah, but Leo, did you build tracking into it and advertisers? Because no, if they you didn't, did. I don't feel like no, you're getting the full No, experience. but let me show you. There is an uh, under, down here under additional settings. It says, yeah, you want to use the conversational data in your GPT to improve our models? Sure. And it's hidden away, by the way, that little thing. That little check yeah, below the fold. Yeah, yeah, below the fold. But I put all these uh, list books because they're all open now, public domain books yeah, okay, in here. Yeah, okay, no, I, right, I, I remember. And this, yeah, yeah, I showed you this. It's been yeah. incredible. You know, I can't remember, oh, yeah, really neat. how do I do, I forgot how to do a loop. And it, it it's, yeah. I mean, it's, admittedly, it's not super fast, but boy, 
it generates code I can use if I want to, or more importantly, I can say, oh, yeah, I get it now. I remember that. Hmm. This has saved me huge amounts of time. I mean, but you don't find um, Googling like Stack Overflow is efficient? I'm, I'm curious because... <laughs> no, and this is what I like <laughs> about these custom GPTs. I told it, and you can say this, it's an option. Please don't go search the web. <laughs> don't make yes. up anything. Only right. give me stuff from this 10-foot shelf that I gave you of of classic Linux or Lisp books. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, the yeah. so every answer I've gotten so far has has been right on. There's been no Or it says, I don't know. It has yet to say I don't know because I gave it right. so much content. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, yeah, and but it's it, a it's a but, very uh, finite topic. Yeah. I mean, and it's it's a, and this has topic. been the problem yeah. with these things, yeah. right? Is that it tries to make stuff up when right. it's trying to answer. This is no the good what, use. Right? This is a good use of of, yeah. of it. Totally, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and you know, you know what it is, Leo. It's the expert system we were promised. In the it's 1970s. an expert system, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. And it's fantastic. Which we were supposed to build with Lisp, as I recall. Too. Yes, that's right. That's why it's good. Of to course. Be. In fact, one of the one of the books I have in uh, my configuration is is a classic uh, uh, paradigms of artificial intelligence programming by uh, Peter Norvig, who is now at uh, at Google. But it's a classic, which he released into open source a short while ago. So this is like this is a four inch thick book. This is like one of your books, Paul. And uh, and it, the entire contents is in there, so yeah. admittedly nobody does AI this way, but <laughs> it's in there. It's actually a great yeah. book, even if you're not doing AI. So Paul Graham's awesome. stuff, uh, all the classic stuff, including the Linux uh, Lisp has the um, spec for the language uh, is online, and so the hyper spec, which is the the actual language spec, is in here too. So it's really it's pretty damn cool. I. You're right. Expert system. It's what what we were promised. What we were promised way back in the day. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. ACI's newest product, Insights, assists in closing lucrative skill gaps so your team won't fall behind. Empower your team, outmaneuver threats, and gain essential insight into your business. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit today. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro enterprise solution plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out their form. 